All right. Good. So what you want to do first is just make sure you, you obviously lay out all the product that you have and that you want to do it. What we did here is obviously we did it by sets. So we did all our, you know, the shave, the legend set, the, the district, this is men's, sweet fantasy, so yada, yada, yada. That way you have a breath and you're show, showing the different ones. You can do it however you want. So as far as the shelves, once you place it out, you'll just, it's easy to measure. You're always going to start from the left and then work your way through. So you're going to kind of space them out and lay them out and just make sure everything fits. So like on this one, there's a, there's a partition here. So it made it a little bit more difficult that we had to just kind of balance it and make sure we had the right amount of product or whatever we we're going to put in there. So as far as the shelving goes, um, the hardest thing was really the, um, the, the pushers here. So there are two different things in there. You got to make sure that you use them. So these little, they're kind of like, I don't know, hooks or use or little sleds that go down snow hills, whatever it might be. These you're going to use on the smaller product. There are bigger ones that go on uh, just the larger product and you'll see those in the set. It's, it's like a square like that. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you use those. We learned that it, it stabilizes a little bit better. So this part here is, is probably the easiest part to get up and down and move it around. So it, it really just kind of lifts up. It'll, it'll sound like it's cracking a little bit and that's okay. You just wanna make sure you know that it goes up and down. So really, if you're looking at it, you see in there it has this little hook. So you kinda of gotta bend it back and then they're just all gonna snap in. This is the easy part. Now this is the harder part. This is the pusher that you got a bunch of. But in here, what you want to make sure, so taking them in and out is a little bit difficult. It feels like you're going to break it, but if you read it, what you need to do is lift it up if you want to move them around and then you kind of twist it a little bit and then you'll hear it snap out. See, so then it comes out. So when you're putting it in, so we kind of went in reverse there, but you had to get them all. So the easiest way I found is clear everything out first. Obviously, we're not going to go back and do that. So once you laid out the product, it's easy. You just start left to right. You put in the partition. You put in the divider partition, the partition, the partition. So we laid all those out. And then we came back with these. I found the trick to it at first. It took me a while. But what you want to do is the same thing. You're going to just lay it in there kind of flat. And then you just got to give it like a, a push down. And you'll hear it snap. So you just push straight down and it snaps in. Once you start getting them going, it's pretty simple. So you do that. Then you're going to put the, the divider in, you lift that up, see how I lifted it a little bit and leaned it back and then it'll, sometimes you just got to wiggle it a little bit and move it around just to get it in the right spot. And once it is, it'll snap in and, and sit the flush to the shelf. And that's it. And then you're going to put your little backer back on and then you really just go through and, and start filling all your product. You can push it back. We found it easier just to keep pushing and hold it, you know, back so it doesn't create all that tension. Put it in there. You need the next one. Push this back. Those sit. Vanilla. Push it back. Push it back. Push it back. back. That'll sit. I don't know where we're missing one. Red. Some extra one. And, and I think I need to stock that one. And then how many fit on the second set? Because this one only fit about... Yeah, so this one only fit us about four or five. Because of this back of here. The, of the partition. But on this down here, you definitely fit a lot more in there. But it's some of it's going to feel a little weird where it's not... I think a lot of people think it's going to be in a straight line, but it's not. It's, it's just the way it, it rolls. So same thing on the toys. You just got to find some... You know, on the toys, you got to find some, and then here's the bigger, this is the bigger backer piece I was talking about that pushes it. So, it's not going to be cookie cutter or perfect, but it definitely, so I drove it fully stocked and everything on the highway, 75 miles per hour. Not that I was going a little fast, but I think one thing fell off, and it was like when we only had one in there, so that's what you need to watch a little bit. And then we show the back stock on the... That one doesn't have any, I haven't filled that back stock, but the bottom, the toys. Then down here, we got some more toys that you stacked underneath. Because um, these fit about four of each. And yeah, then, the top row is three or four. This, I think, fits five. And then the back on one, the lingerie. Two. Yeah, this fits five. So on the, the new, back on the lingerie, you took the 
Yeah, we took the bars out on this one. So that I can hang them all the you way can across. hang them all the way across. And 